this is Stampy and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Another video in which I am touring someone's world and no prizes for guessing where I'm touring. I am touring Notchland which is an amazing theme park uh, that was built by Leisure Gaming who's around here somewhere. There we go. He's the person who built the world. Uh, there was someone else who helped him out uh, with a lot of the early stuff but um, apparently for the last few months he's been working on this by himself. And yeah, it's an incredible theme park. I'm really looking forward to uh, visiting it. Uh, but first I want to show you this which is uh, an amazel, uh, amazel? Uh, this is an amazing pixel art uh, drawing essentially uh, of his daughter and uh, I can't actually remember her name but she's uh, only three year old and uh, the entire theme park is dedicated to where it says uh, this world is dedicated to my three year old daughter uh, Catalina uh, daddy loves you leisure gaming so uh, I think that's just a really nice touch it's just really nice to to have a big theme park dedicated uh, to, to your daughter I don't know it's just a bit nicer than just having here is a theme park have fun you know <laughs> and so I don't know whether there's much stuff themed around her or uh, specifically built just for her but here we go we're ready to go in and I've seen uh, literally none of this so far. I've loaded up the world a little bit, uh, flown over to here, and uh, that is about it. So I really don't know uh, what uh, I can expect from here. And uh, there's a bunch of maps here, I guess. Is these like souvenirs? Oh, these are where I buy my tickets and stuff, I assume. Um, I don't need a ticket because I'm here with the with the owner. I got special access. <laughs> and here we go. Straight away, we can see a, a creeper cage directly in front of us. There's a big ghast up there. Uh, a mighty scary looking roller coaster straight up there. We've got to go into the creeper cage. We've got to go straight into the arcade, don't we? <laughs> it's absolutely massive and directly in front of me. And I look at this place. I love how lit up this whole place is normally. When I'm doing a tour of someone's world, I'm waiting around until it becomes night and then the second it becomes night we sleep so I can have a full day like in the day with everything lit up. Uh, but in this video, uh, I actually waited for it to become night just so I could go around at night uh, just because everything's so like amazingly lit up. And look at all of these arcade games here. I guess I need to try and throw things into those holes. Uh, let's try and throw down a, a piece of black wall here, see if I can get it in the hole. Uh, am I going to drop it? Um, I can't actually seem to be able to drop things right now. I'm a little bit worried uh, that I've lagged out the game. Can I can I place anything? I can still place cake. It's just not letting me drop things on the floor for some reason. Uh, I guess I'm stuck carrying around this uh, piece of black wall. Uh, this is a really awesome looking arcade though. You can see a um uh, a bunch of arcade machines over here. Uh, oh look at those the car thingies. You know you've got to like pretend you're driving a car over here. And uh, what's all this over here? I wish like all of this stuff did actually work. Uh, skip, hop, and jump. Take one potion. Okay. Um, oh, I, I don't think I've got permissions. I, d I don't think I've got permissions to open things. So uh, maybe that's why I couldn't drop things. Surely I should be able to drop things anyway. I think it might just be lagging like absolute crazy. Yeah, there we go. I did open the chest. It just took absolutely ages. Right. Skip, hop, and jump. All right. Let's, let's give this a go then. Skip. Um, hop. How am I supposed to get around the corner? Right, okay. From here, I'll see if I can get to the end. Uh, if you've seen a few of my videos, you would know that I am absolutely the worst person at parkour. So uh, the chances are I'm going to I'm gonna get my fur wet while trying to do this. Can I really make this? Is that really a possible jump? I suppose I do have a swiftness potion. Yeah, oh, no, I'm sure you can't make that. I think the limit you can jump is three blocks. And uh, about the limit I can jump is probably about two. Here we go. I'm doing this bit quite quick there. All right, let's see if I can go one fast run straight to the end. Nope, <laughs> straight in the water. I'm pretty sure some of these jumps aren't possible. There we go. I did a little bit okay. And do I get a prize? Do I win a prize for that? Or did I do absolutely rubbish? So I don't win anything. <laughs> right, what's over here? No diamonds for you. Is this like a, a lucky dip thing? Oh, what's going on? I can hear redstone going. I can hear stuff happening. Um, what am I supposed to do? It says diamond, gold. Uh, I had all stuff coming out. Oh, so some, some white wall came out here? Did that come out from somewhere? Um, I'm not sure. I think something might be going wrong with the redstone here. Maybe I broke it. Oh, there's all ice along here. Am I supposed to like roll something along the ice? I guess maybe. And uh, then I win a prize? Uh, I'm not entirely sure what that is. This, this is a collection point here. I guess this is where I would get a prize. Oh, oh here we go. This one this one seems to be working. So do, do I guess I have to slide something along like that. And then do I win something? Okay, I have no idea what that game is, I'll be honest. But let's move on anyway. Uh, so what's in this chest here? Diamond pickaxe. Uh, the claw. Okay, is this like uh, in Toy Story when you go and pick up the toy? Do you have to go down and like try and pick something up, I guess? All right, let's try and switch this lever and let's see what this does. Is it, oh, I've, I've picked something. I've, I've picked something up. 
There we go, look, I've actually managed to pick something up. How cool is that? <laughs> like, you actually, like, you put the claw down, and then I, I guess I have to, do I press something else then? Or maybe does it just lift it up? That's really cool. I guess I've got to try and make it pick up the best thing. Right, let's try and make it pick up some diamonds then, shall we? I don't know if it's, I think it's, so that's the one that, that picks stuff up. You see the, this uh, piston here? So right, when this piston gets over to the diamonds, uh, I guess I need to, to pull the lever uh, to try and make it drop down and pick it up. This is a really cool game. All I'm going to be doing the whole time I'm going round here is writing down a whole load of notes for things that I could uh, eventually go and build in my fun land. Right, there we go. That's the sticky piston. It's almost there. Right, next one. Once it moves over from that lapis, I'm going to pull it and see if I can get the diamonds. Right, I've done it. There we go. Have I got the diamonds? Go on, lift up. Lift up. Go on. Yay! I managed to win some diamonds. I wish there was a way you could, like, drop it off afterwards and collect. I don't know, maybe there is. Maybe I could work that out. Oh, no, there is a, a collection thingy down here. I guess, like, maybe i got to carry it along a bit than make it drop off. But that's a really cool game. I've never seen that before. Right, anyway, next game. Next game in the in the Creepercade. Oh, I think that that's another claw game here. And, oh, is this, like, a, a bow and arrows thing? A uh, game of life. Um, oh, I guess we've got to throw things and try and make them land on the uh, on the pressure pads. Uh, he seems to be using Eye of Ender, so I'm going to do the same. <laughs> it's a bit of a dangerous one. You throw it, if you manage to make it, it just shoots arrows at you. <laughs> just shoots an arrow in your face. I'm kind of glad we're on um, creative and not survival. Otherwise, that, uh, yeah, that might have actually hurt me. <laughs> I see why it's called the game of life. Uh, this is cool. Like, they've kind of made a screen with the... Um, uh, the Never Portal. I've never seen that before. And are, are these the prizes up here? Oh yeah, I, I guess these are these are the things that you can win. You could win a cake up there. If I get five nuggets, I can exchange it for a cake. And uh, what's over here? Connect Four. Oh, they've actually built a Connect Four game. Like, how many games have they got? Like, in such a small, compact area. I've literally gone into the first building in this fun land, and look at all the stuff I found. And this place is massive. If I show you the map, look, look how massive it's. Like, almost half the entire map, and I'm just in the first building. Right? Does how does this work? I guess we we go up here, and then you drop down either either sand or gravel. I guess. Oh yeah, look, there's little slots there. Right? Are we gonna have a game? Are we up? Okay, I guess I, I use TNT, and I guess he's going to use sand or something, maybe? Um, I don't know, he seems to be backing off. I'm scared I'm going to blow it up using TNT. Should we have a game of Connect 4? Come on, let's have a go. If we use, um, if I grab sand and then gravel, and uh, the reason you use these is because they got, like, physics, like, they drop, and so that way, like, uh, I guess I place it in here, and then it's going to drop down. And it's a little bit awkward to do. I guess I, I could do it flying, but I guess that's kind of cheating. Right, if I try and get it in... Uh, come on. There we go, there we go. So that's going to drop down. There we go. So that's my go there. So if he's going to play, I guess he's going to have to put down some sand somewhere else. And uh, yeah, obviously you've got to get four in a row to win. Oh, I guess there's a chest here. Yeah, there we go. A chest full of sand and gravel. I did guess right. So yeah, uh, if you don't know how Connect 4 works, then um, where have you been? Everyone knows how Connect 4 works. What's he doing? He's cheating. He's just put like three in, right? I'm not playing with you. If you're going to start cheating, then I'm not going to play with you. <laughs> okay, well, I've really enjoyed the Creeper Cade, but uh, I think it's time to leave and go and uh, explore somewhere else. I know there's a nice villager wandering around here. I think it must be like a, a school day or something. That's why uh, the place is so empty. And uh, it doesn't look as good in day, does it? Like nothing against the build. It's just... I don't know, everything always looks amazing at night when it's all lit up. And you can see there's a there's a gas just sort of uh, floating in the air over here. And uh, what's this called? The... Arst... I can't see there's all stuff in the way. The Arstream... The Arstream? Is that what it's called? The Airstream, that's what it's called. <laughs> the Airstream, yeah, this is the Airstream, I guess. And this kind of looked a bit massive and slightly terrifying. Yeah, it's probably a good idea if you uh, ask your dog to sit down because, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how much the dog would enjoy going around here. It would actually be quite funny to push the dog in the minecart. And how fast does this go? It's like non-stop power rails up to the top. <laughs> and look how high we're going. Like, imagine what this would be like after the uh, the new uh, height limit. Uh, as I'm recording this, it's just before title update 12 is coming out. And so I'm sure by the time you're watching this, it's already out. But as I'm watching this, uh, the limit of the world is, I think it's like 126 blocks or something. So, um, yeah, imagine if, like, they had the full height and this just went way to the top. <laughs> this is quite relaxing, actually, going down. Like, it was terrifying going up. But I'm sort of just gently rocking my way down. It's quite peaceful, actually. And now I'm speeding up and twisting all over the place. 
Unfortunately, the uh, the game is a bit laggy, so I am sort of uh, jerking my way around the roller coaster. Uh, but you can imagine what it would be like uh, being the host and able to ride all of these rides. And you can if you want, by the way. Um, there will be a download link uh, in the description to this video. Uh, so if you are able to download maps and you did want to uh, visit Notchland yourself, uh, yeah, you can just go and download that and yeah, put it on your Xbox and you can uh, explore Notchland and uh, play on all of the uh, the arcade games and the roller coasters yourself. So uh, as I'm recording this uh, it's not up for download uh, but leisure gaming has assured me it will be up for download uh, by the time the video is online so uh, assuming that it is uh, there'll be a link in the description and if it's not there yet uh, just be patient with me uh, it will be there very soon and this roller coaster is absolutely massive this is putting my creeper coaster in my funland to shame it's crazy and I just love seeing that that big pixel art model in the background like I think the further away from it you get just the more realistic it looks uh, but it does look absolutely incredible I believe uh, we're just about to get to the end now though yeah here we go here's the uh, the last final stretch and I feel a little bit dizzy after that whoa <laughs> that was kind of crazy especially here watching it like full screen on my tv I've kind of I don't know, it, it does feel kind of twisty and turdy, you know? <laughs> Even though it is only just a video game. And uh, I'm kind of curious to see uh, what's coming up next. I can see some some massive pixel art models over there in the distance, but uh, I told Leisure Gaming to sort of lead me around so he can uh, show me all of the, uh, the best stuff. Minecraft The Experience. Uh, I guess this is a, uh, another roller coaster here. I think that Leisure Gaming got a bit jealous when he saw me wandering around uh, in the in the last roller coaster, and he decided uh, that he wanted to go and ride this one himself. Oh look, we're going down here into like a mine shaft. Oh, th this is quite cool. We're like, I don't know, it's kind of as if we're in a a real mine shaft. Like this is built in a super flat world, so uh, all of this terrain and stuff would have been built. And oh no, his dog got in the way. <laughs> His dog got on the track and pushed me back and now I'm going back the wrong way. And now Leisure Gaming's pushed me back going this way. If the dog pushes me back again and I'm just going to go here like constantly back and forth. <laughs> it's a shame that it's so laggy. It's a shame that like I'm jerking everywhere. I imagine this would be uh, so much better if it was just like one smooth ride. But uh, I suppose the good thing uh, about jerking around is like I do kind of have more time to see everything. Uh, because like every now and then I sort of just stop it gives me uh, a chance to go and uh, have a look around at some of my surroundings and stuff and this is quite a cool idea like doing like a roller coaster which is kind of like themed around a mine I don't know it's quite a quite a cool funky look you know of all of the, the different ores and stuff it would be a very lucrative mine wouldn't it oh I guess I've stopped oh, do I pull the lever to carry on I think I've just got out the mine cart right, let's see if I can try pulling the lever can I get it um, I don't think I can. Am I supposed to be stuck? Oh, here we go. I'm off. I'm off. I'm off. <laughs> I think I might have been given a nudge or something. I don't think I actually managed to pull the lever. <laughs> like, once again, like, I didn't realise how massive it was going to be. Like, it doesn't look that big from the outside, but uh, once you start wandering around on it, it's, I don't know, it's just absolutely huge inside here. And, like, I kind of want to break from the roller coasters. I love the roller coasters. They're fun. But I think if I literally go roller coaster, roller coaster, roller coaster, roller coaster, uh, then I'm going to end up not feeling very well. And, of course, me being me, I did have my cake for breakfast this morning, and that's probably not helping too much. And saying cake actually reminds me, I need to try and stampy his world. I need to try and hide cake around his world without him noticing. Do you reckon I can do it as I go. Do you reckon I could drop down some cake on the side of the track as I go around? Right, I need to do it when he's not watching. Oh, there we go. I got cake down. I oh, know I got out the minecart though. I accidentally got out of it. I think it shot off without me. Has it gone round here? Here we go. Right, I can carry on. I managed to stampy it though. It wasn't a very elegant stampy, but I did just about uh, manage to get away with hiding some cake down there. <laughs> and how long is this roller coaster going on for? Like, it's super flat weld, so it can't be really under the ground because... Like, you can only go, what, like, five or six blocks under the ground in super flat. I'm kind of worried that, like, when I banged into him or something, like, I've got push and now I'm going back the other way, you know? Like, or is it just, like, an endless loop of roller coaster and I'm just going to keep going round forever? Oh, this looks new. I can see, like, a big glowstone ceiling. I don't remember seeing this bit before. Like, this is endless, though. Like, even if I was just, like, sprinting around in creative mode, it would have still taken ages. There we go. I'm at the top. I'm on the surface. And I can see a bunch of animals. It's quite nice just to see green grass again after spending that whole time inside of that massive mine shaft. And it's not over yet. It's not even over once we get to the surface. You still go keep going around here. This must have taken ages. That must have taken ages to go and place down all of that track. I feel very, very dizzy. <laughs> is there a park or a bench or something that I can go and sit? down for a bit and try and get my breath or are we going to go on the big lava roller coaster over here let's see what we're going to do 
I guess we're going to go over here in the big lava roller coaster, as if we weren't about to. Uh, Notch's Little Secret. Uh, ten tickets for one ride. Um, I guess this is a very popular one. Uh, there's a very big queue anyway, so I guess this, uh, if the park was properly open, it would be pretty popular. Right! One roller coaster to the next! Woo! <laughs> oh, this is quite cool. It's, it's quite scary going over the um, the massive bulge of lava. I don't know uh, whether this was uh, if this was a real theme park that would get uh, past health and safety, having a huge like volcanic uh, ball of lava in the centre of the roller coaster. But uh, it certainly makes things a little bit more dramatic. And uh, as I'm going quite high here, it might be a good chance uh, to go and have a look around at some of the other stuff. Um, he did actually say uh, that because he watches my Let's Play, he's actually uh, been taking a few ideas from my Funland. And so apparently he's got a, uh, a few twists on uh, some of the games that uh, I've built in my Funland. Uh, press button to continue or get off and explore the zombies' inner workings. Hmm, okay, well, I, I guess I'm I guess going to press the button and continue the roller coaster. Oh, look, there's a massive zombie here, I see. Did you see that? There's like a huge zombie inside there. Like because I was so close of it, it was hard to see it properly. I kind of wish I I got out now to to explore the inner workings of the zombie. I might actually go back up there and uh, because it is creative, I can cheat and fly every now and then. And uh, I might go and explore the zombie. Oh, here we go! I know it's just a massive zombie like inside the the lava. I didn't see that coming. Um, how how do I get inside then? Is the is there a door? Oh yeah, here we go. There's a there's a door. Zombie giant robotic control core that doesn't move. <laughs> what do you do if it was like, I don't know, like Transformers or something and I start pulling levers and it's like starts walking around the room. That would be awesome. <laughs> I, I guess this is this is where you control the gigantic robotic zombie. <laughs> oh, that's quite a cool little touch down here. Like it's weird having a roller coaster just stop halfway through and say like, do you want to go and have a look around by the way? I know you're probably having fun, but uh, did you want to go and explore for a bit? And oh no, I seem to have just lagged out of the game. I thought it was getting a little bit laggy. <laughs> no worries though, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, but don't worry, uh, there'll be a link in the description to part number two of my tour, uh, which will be up in probably about three days from when this one was uploaded. So uh, if you want to continue and see the rest of my tour of Notchland, uh, yeah, click the link in the description. Uh, but I want to thank you very much for watching this video and I I will see you all later. Bye!